It started off as an after school club. Um, the students showed a uh, huge enthusiasm for that, so we've expanded it into the wider curriculum. Um, some of the things we're doing at the moment, we use it to link to literacy, we use it to link to chemistry and uh, uh, atomic theory in primary science, and we also use it to allow the students to have a space to collaborate. And uh, it's kind of like a virtual playground, so they, they are able to build things and test things, uh, so we use it for our design and technology as well. What we've found, apart from the, the sort of obvious engagement, we've found that the students are much uh, more sort of, I guess they're more willing to take risks. Uh, I think if you were building something in the real world with lots of real materials, it would take a lot of time investment. And if it didn't work, you'd then have to take it all apart and start again. With Minecraft, there isn't that barrier. They can just test something very quickly, realize it doesn't work. They're happy with that failure and they'll try again with another idea. And, and they're much more kind of, um, I guess relaxed, if you like, to test out their ideas. What we are able to do with Minecraft is get students to collaborate and do teamwork, and that element of their learning uh, is really something that we can, uh, we've sort of been able to focus on and, and get them to, to show off, I guess. One of the, another example is when we've, across year one to year six, we've been introducing Minecraft science modules, so the chemistry blocks. Um, and that's really allowed our students to understand concepts that are very, very normally beyond a primary age uh, curriculum, but we've able to, they're able to play with protons, electrons, neutrons and build elements, which is something uh, we've really you know, sort of seen their knowledge just kind of explode with that. So that's been really, really good too. We're making a Rube Goldberg machine with lots of platforms and then we're going to set up some fireworks. I really like Minecraft because it's really fun and you can build lots of different things and you don't really need to care if you do something wrong, you can just break it and do it again. I like learning in Minecraft because you get to join worlds with people and it doesn't really matter if you mess up because you can just delete what you've messed up and you can just do it again. It's really fun. I enjoy it because like we get to work together. We're making machines to activate some fa fireworks. So it takes process, so um, maybe we link the redstone and then the, and then we use sticky pistons and the redstone blocks. And then we keep on going in the redstone and then we use redstone repeaters and we can keep on going until it reaches the fireworks. We can make different types of machines using redstone and different types of things. We were able to use this collaborative aspect to it where students were able to join into one world and then you've got all the aspects within Minecraft as well such as redstone and all the materials and all the physics that go along with that where the students are able to build something from a real world context into a game-like environment. So this has cross-curricular aspects too where you, you can use science, you can use maths, you can use coordinates and mapping which Minecraft already incorporates into the game itself. So it has so many ideas that can be pulled out from the students themselves as well as teachers and curriculum right away from the smallest children all the way through to school leavers at IB. There are so many things that Minecraft allows you to dive into that you are able to use logical thought with code, you're able to use make code and you're able to use tinker and that is the basis of block-based coding and then that leads you on to things like Java which are already in the library itself at Microsoft. With the other aspects of curriculum you're able to use collaborative tools and methods to take Minecraft further beyond their curriculum. So students, so students in class are able to learn a set of skills and a set of curriculum elements but beyond that, they're able to go home and show their parents and then take it even further.